Hi Scorpio, welcome to your September 2021 Love and Relationships reading. Thanks for joining me. My name is Michelle and this is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Signs. Scorpio, I'm going to be doing a reading today for you and the person that uh, is of most interest to you in around the month of September. Now, either side can resonate as yourself and either side can be more uh, dominant feminine or masculine energy. Now, that's not about sex, gender or even sign. It is about what resonates with you. So please uh, use your own judgment there. So let's take a look at the energy around the feminine, feminine energy when it comes to Scorpio in the month of September, the feminine energy around Scorpio. What is the energy around the feminine for Scorpio, please? Feminine energy. Okay. Let's see. Oh, we have dedication, self-love, and a focus on self. Okay. So someone who is... Uh, more focused inward at the moment rather than uh, focused externally. I like the energy. I do. It, it's very. Uh, I feel it's it's an energy of uh, burgeoning self confidence. Okay, so let's see where that goes. Let's take a look at the masculine energy for Scorpio. What is the masculine energy, Scorpio, for the month of? September. Now this could be of course a masculine Scorpio, but it doesn't have to be. It could be any sign. So let's take a look. Energy of the masculine here for this reading, please. Spirit guides for the Scorpio reading. The energy around the masculine for Scorpio. Okay. Oh gosh, we've got a wedding happening here. Okay. Let's get the connecting energy. Now, I don't know if this is someone who is uh, planning a proposal for you, Scorpio, or perhaps they're already married, but let's see. What's the connecting energy, Spirit? What can you tell me about the connecting energy here for Scorpio? The connecting energy here for Scorpio. Okay, Jade. That's a very prosperous stone. One of my personal favorites. When we talk about the card of Jade, of course, uh, we think about uh, Asian culture is, is what I'm getting around that. It is uh, traditionally a consciousness of abundance, a sign of uh, treasures. And uh, also I get this as uh, treasuring the people that are around you, treasuring yourself. So it's not just about things here and material possessions. I feel it is about finding the finding the hidden treasure, finding the treasure within someone else or within oneself. Okay, so let's see where this goes, guys. So I've already been meditating on the energies, but I will do a few more shuffles here, Scorpio. Let's take a look. The energy around the feminine first for Scorpio. Feminine energy, Scorpio. Let's take a look. We'll start with the energy around Scorpio, where you currently stand in September, where you hope to stand with this in the future, how you feel about the other person, what's hidden, the strengths, any challenges, what's happening in the environment, advice for you Scorpio and the potential outcome. And for the other person, let's take a look. Again, this could be a masculine Scorpio if you're cross-watching, but it doesn't have to be. It could be any sign or any gender. It really just depends on what is more dominant at any particular time. One's yin or yang energy. Okay, so let's take a look here for the masculine. Alright, for the month of September for the Scorpio reading. Their energy where they stand in the month of September, where they hope to stand with this in the future, how they feel about you, Scorpio, what's hidden, the strengths, challenges for this person, what's in their environment, advice for this person, and the potential outcome. Okay, let's see what's going on here. It looks exciting. Oh, 
the Ace of Swords, so there is clear thinking involved here. I get uh, an epiphany of sorts. So where there was perhaps some confusion during this time of uh, I get isolation, feeling perhaps left out, feeling left behind. Someone has been very dedicated to themselves, dedicating, well, I get it as a reasserting their value to themselves and it's showing to the outside world. Part of this is being very clear in their mind about their own worth, their own value. If you're the feminine energy, then that's you. Now on this side, on the masculine, we've got the nine of pentacles in the reverse. Okay, so this is someone here, a Scorpio, who is feeling perhaps a little bit uh, jealous or envious of the feminine. Remember, this is about worth, guys. So I do feel that in comparison, they don't feel as worthy of the feminine. Oh, we have the uh, the card of uh, the chariot here. In this deck, it's called Desire. Yes, this is very much a, a soulmate kind of energy, very passionate. Yes, it feels like connection, a very passionate connection. You know, red hair could be a thing here, guys, as well. I'm, I'm getting that for some of you. Now... I'm getting a certainty of being very sure, no doubts. Okay, on this side we have the King of Cups. They're showing up in the reverse though. Hmm. Goodness. I do feel that this is someone who, emotionally speaking, I feel them quite, they have been quite closed off which is probably why there has been, I get a, perhaps a, uh, well, it's not exactly, I feel like there's been some kind of communication between the two of you. It hasn't been completely cut off, but there has been an emotional component here that has surely been missing, which has led someone, I feel it's the feminine energy to feel to feel a bit lonely but I do feel that the feminine energy has been using their time well uh, to overcome any kind of personal obstacles around uh, self-love and self-worth that may have been placed on the feminine from previous relationships okay so the feminine's been using their time well uh, the masculine energy to be honest with you I'm getting a lost kind of energy around this person now the feminine where they hope to stand in the future we do have the queen of coins in the reverse okay gosh yeah I do feel that this is the feminine has been working on their value I get recognizing their value reasserting their value making sure that they're not devaluing themselves or devalued by anyone else now the masculine has the fool preparing themselves to take a risk is what I'm getting from spirit now the masculine themselves feels I'm, I'm picking up some insecurity around them But they are gathering the strength here to, to take a risk. Let's see. How you feel about them? The two of staves or the two of wands. Mm. Yeah, it seems like... The feminine Scorpio, if this is you here...
it feels like personal prosperity. I do see dedication here and a focus towards a vision of the future that you have specifically related to value and what you value most. Now, what do we value? Well, this is a general reading. So for you, uh, insert whatever it is that you value the most as your goal. And that's what you're not willing to compromise on. This person has the King of Wands in the reverse, is how they feel about you. Mm. We've got two kings here, they're both showing up in the reverse. I feel it's the same person, this masculine energy. In comparison, they don't feel that they have very much power in this situation. It seems that they have... They're quite a carefree individual. I get uh, like a footloose, fancy free type of person. It feels very minimalist. Okay. Yeah, very minimalist. Someone who travels lightly. So I don't feel like they have a lot of material possessions to give. They, they, don't, they don't seem to want a lot of responsibility either. Gosh, where is this going? The Four of Cups is what's hidden. Mm. You know, I, mm. I'm not seeing a lot of, from the feminine, I'm seeing a lot of focus on self, but not a lot of focus towards this person here. Let's see. Okay, we've got the Temperance card. So they're looking for... Oh, okay, well... They feel very peaceful when they're around you. You seem to have a calming influence around this person. You bring balance to their life. The Eight of Cups in Reverse is the strength. Mm. This is this lost energy that I'm picking up here. I, I get this masculine energy. I don't know why I'm getting like homeless. I mean, I don't think they're homeless. At least I hope that they're not. But they're, they're like this, this wanderer. They don't really, they don't seem to have a, uh, a good sense of security at the moment. Uh, my spirit guide is saying they don't have a lot of good sense at the moment. I get this, this wandering kind of energy around this person. Mm. The strength over here is the five of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, the strength is that uh, you, Scorpio, would provide them with what they... Some kind of, uh, well, to be honest with you, I feel like this person's a bit down and out. Uh, you would provide them with uh, this prosperity. I feel that if you're the feminine here or, or you're more on the feminine side, remember it's not about sex or gender, I feel that you are more prosperous here there's value you you know your value you're aware of it you're also aware of what you have i'm getting that let's see the challenge is justice yeah i do feel that there's a there's a contract or well, this person is offering you a contract or this and you're being asked to decide whether or not you want this or or yeah because there's something here with this person the challenge for them six of pentacles in reverse it uh, to be honest with you it feels more like it's about uh, security material prosperity a home 
uh, a place to call home. They want to lead an easier kind of life. Their life is very chaotic at the moment. Uh, there seems to be some desperation around this person. They're trying to avoid difficulties around money. Mm. Now, in your environment, we do have the Prince of Wands, so Prince of Staves in this deck in the reverse. Yeah, this, this person has shown lack of motivation to just generally in their life I, I feel that they are very unmotivated hmm. who is this person Scorpio in their environment we've got the seven of wands in reverse yeah it's this very gosh it's a I don't really like the all of this wand energy in the reverse that's in the environment because it feels very much like um, carelessness not caring not caring enough your advice here is the high priestess card but it's coming up in the reverse you're being asked to pay attention to your instincts, your, your, well more than that, your, your intuition. It's your instincts and your intuition. Both of those things. Also, common sense. I mean, everything. <sighs> Let me see. Advice for this person, more pentacles, guys. Seven of pentacles in reverse. This individual is very frustrated. Frustrated around their, uh, their money situation. Very frustrated. Let me see. I'm going to get a card from the Spellcasting Oracle. Message for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to hear with this reading? Message for Scorpio. Scorpio. They're, they seem to be, I don't know, angling for a marriage here, a commitment. Okay, friendship. So Scorpio, if you're the feminine here, it feels like you're wanting to overcome Feelings of being devalued in the past by a few previous partners, maybe this person even. I do feel at the moment you're looking to get out of where you are. You're looking for f somewhere else possibly to live. You're planning ahead. You're wondering if this person is meant to be with you on that path. I do get a, a strong energy around you of wanting to make sure that you're in a position of strength. When it comes to your, your independence, uh, I get financial independence. But I get this, this energy of being held back at the moment that you, you can't go ahead and do something that you want to do because it's not available to you at this particular time, but it's something that you, you definitely want to do you see it as part of your future yes now the other person I do feel is looking for some kind of commitment or marriage we do have the marriage card here with you but the thing that I'm getting more about them is that it it has to do with like it's based it's based on friendship which is good but there's a too much pentacles energy around this person, around this masculine energy. And I'm not seeing any commitment when it comes to, to love, emotions. It seems to be all about material aspects around this, this masculine energy and what they can gain. But we'll see where this goes, guys, in the extended reading. 
I hope that you join me there. The link is down below. Or if you'd like to watch them here on YouTube, you can join my band of gypsies at the top tier level of my channel membership. You'll have access to all of the extendeds for the month. And I do about 36 or so a month, so lots to view there. You'll have access for as long as you remain a member at that top tier level. The bottom uh, level, so you can join me as a supporter, or you can level up and get early access to the YouTube readings as well. If you'd like a personal reading, Scorpio, you can email me, gypsyinsights at gmail.com, or you can go to my Etsy shop, the link is down below, and purchase directly there. Please do take a moment to press that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment down below as well. Any way that you interact with the channel helps my channel. So I'd be so appreciative if you would take the moment to do that now. And of course, if you're a newcomer, I'd love to have you subscribe. Yeah, guys, this one's a little bit difficult because it also, it's all about what you value at the moment. What you value the most. Is it love? Is it stability? Is it security? Because this could work if it was more just for security. You could have security with this person. I feel that they would be loyal. But I feel that there's also an inhibiting energy. That they would inhibit you. Possibly prevent you from going towards this other thing that perhaps you have pl had planned for a longer period of time I get movement maybe you wanted to move somewhere else another town another state another country even and this person here would uh, yeah I, I feel that, that that they would kind of ground you where you're at right now it all depends on what you see as prosperity at this particular point in time do you value more this solitary energy and the freedom to do what you want to do or do you value this commitment do they value you do you value them it's all about value here guys so we'll see where this goes in the extended i hope that you join me again the link is down below scorpio or feel free to join my band of gypsies channel membership ways that you can do that you can click on the join button for more information or look in the box for the link wishing you the best here scorpio please do take care and i'll see you in part two back to your reading scorpio thanks again for joining me this is part two of september for the feminine energy this card of solitary it's a beautiful card it is about going within of course it is about withdrawal or retreating from the world for a time it can be a response to an event possibly a tower like kind of trauma sadness or betrayal this withdrawing inwards it could even appear as a little bit of depression here guys now there's something here that you're being called to investigate to understand to master and it's a solitary energy mastering for some of you it's mastering uh, being alone mastering sol being solitary itself going it alone walking your own path choosing to carve a way forward and with that two of wands yeah i see that choosing to carve a way forward that is uh, true to self i do feel that this is a very imperative learning curve for you a time when perhaps you may feel a little bit more isolated than usual something that you can't do you may not be able to to get something you may not be able to travel you may not be able to move to where you want to go just chat but there's a reason why you're kind of in this mode at the moment and i feel it's to gain greater wisdom now for some of you i'm getting an energy of past life where you may have even suffered for your gift of uh, intuition some of you who are highly spiritual may have in a past life suffered for that you may have been in the past life a healer 
a seer, a wizard, a shaman, a witch even. And you may have been perceived that way. So there is some kind of connection with your intuitive gifts that you may have been, yeah, I get uh, persecuted for in, in a previous life, which is interesting. Now, for some of you, this time inward is really going to give you a sense of value and a value in yourself, Scorpio. This time that you're dedicating to yourself is going to provide you with, I get leveling up, you know, truly that uh, for a Scorpio I'm getting it's like a near-death experience. Now I don't mean that literally, I mean the spiritual death okay yeah it feels like that it, it feels very uncomfortable now the good news that I see here is that you have some prosperity around you with this jade card so I don't think money is a, is a problem for you now you're still working hard you're doing all of those things yes but you're, you're very self-focused at the moment but it's it's necessary it's necessary for you to grow spiritually at the moment. Scorpio is what I'm getting. Now this other person that's around you I appear, appears to be more, it seems that they're seeking a partnership with you but it feels more like they're doing it for material reasons. I feel it's a, it's a, a friendship but they're wanting more than a friendship. But we'll talk about this uh, further as I clarify. Let's take a look here. Okay, we've got the King of Coins. I feel that that's you getting to that place of valuing yourself. So whether you're male or female, it doesn't matter what, how you identify, you're coming out as very stable and, and secure within yourself. And again, I get money doesn't seem to be an issue for you guys. I feel that you have stability there. So really, I get you, it almost feels like a little bit of denial here. You, you're being denied what you truly feel you desire at the moment but it's so that you can gain more self-love so there's there's a bigger thing going on here with the universe so it may feel like something's being denied you but it's for a purpose it's for a reason Scorpio now this other person let's take a look okay four of pentacles in reverse 